coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. UK model aircraft pilots take issue with proposed drone regulations. Amazon unveils its new drone concept. And ParaZero launches ASTM compliant Safe Air Mavic. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. Model airplane pilots in the UK are taking issue with proposed drone regulations set to go into effect in November, saying the new rules could cause harm to their long-standing hobby. Representatives of the British Model Flying Association met with the Aviation Minister Baroness Veer last week to discuss the situation. Under the proposal, the UK CAA would require the operators of all unmanned aircraft, including model airplanes, to pay a registration fee equivalent to about $21, acquire a license, and take a competency test every three years. BMFA Chief Executive David Phipps said the proposed regulation should not be applied to model airplane pilots. Phipps said the registration fee could present a barrier to entry into the hobby, particularly for some young people. He also said the proposed CAA test is not as comprehensive as BMFA safety tests and said such regulations would encourage members to ignore the rules. The proposal follows incidents that have caused major disruptions at some UK airports last year, some of which have been proven to be falsely reported. Aviation Minister Baroness Veer defended the CAA's position, saying while the majority of people flying model aircraft do so responsibly, the registration scheme will increase accountability for all unmanned aircraft operators. Now let's take a brief look at some stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for our Drone Minute. Acting FAA Administrator Daniel Elwell announced National Drone Safety Awareness Week, a planned series of nationwide events focused on the safe operations of drones at the UAS Symposium held last week in Baltimore, Maryland. Elwell wants everyone in on the conversation. AUVSI will be a key partner in the week, including Know Before You Fly, the public education campaign started by AUVSI, the Academy of Model Aeronautics, and the FAA. Microsoft Flight Simulator has gotten a new lease on life, with new graphics and the upgraded ability to run on the Xbox platform. The sample graphics are stunning, and a solid selection of interesting aircraft offer an interesting flock of aircraft to choose from. But what about drones? An insider with the design team won't promise they'll show up with the newest iteration, but promises that such aircraft are likely to be included sometime soon. The newest Aviation Gateway Park is the Urban Air Mobility Showcase. The showcase will include a number of prominent and innovative companies in the urban air mobility industry. Members and attendees will want to visit the UAM Showcase to see everything from EVTOLs to hover bikes. After receiving positive feedback from its webinar and 2019 FAA UAS Symposium attendees, the FAA has optimized their program content and added a session to include the recent changes to recreational flying. The FAA canceled the webinar on June 13th. Airspace authorizations, what are they and why do they matter? The content from this webinar will be added to the What is Low Altitude Authorization and Notification System webinar. The webinars start on June 19th at 2 p.m. with Public Safety, How to Start a Drone Program, and end on September 12th at 4 p.m. with How Public Safety Agencies Can Fly Drones During Emergencies. To get a complete webinar schedule, head over to FAA.gov. Now back to the rest of the news. Amazon has taken the wraps off their latest drone concept, combining elements of a rotorcraft and fixed-wing airframe. This concept may serve as the backbone of a delivery effort that could eventually drop household goods right at your doorstep, with services that can start within a few months. The prototype can take off vertically, whereupon it will rotate to assume a more horizontal flight path. 
Using artificial intelligence and a specifically designed sensor suite, Amazon expects the vehicle could fly autonomously and do so within the national airspace system without interference to conventional aircraft. Amazon Prime has been quiet for a number of months as they fine-tuned their drone delivery system, but recent public statements indicate that they're finally ready to disclose their plans and to seek the cooperation of regulators and potential partners as they move forward with their program. Drone safety company Parazero Technologies, together with the Northern Plains UAS test site, has completed the testing and compliance process for Parazero Safe Air Mavic in accordance with ASTM F3322-18. ASTM F3322-18 standard specification for UAS parachutes was designed to enable civil aviation authorities like the FAA to determine whether a parachute system is airworthy for flights over human beings. Parazero's ASTM compliant Safe Air Mavic is designed specifically for DJI's Mavic 2 series. The Safe Air system is a smart parachute system that monitors UAS flight in real time, identifies critical failures, and autonomously triggers a parachute. The system contains a flight termination system, a black box to enable post-deployment analysis, and a warning buzzer to alert people below of a falling drone. The completion of the compliance process for the Safe Air Mavic will open the door for UAS operators that are interested in the possibility of safe and legal UAS operations over people using the DJI Mavic 2. Earlier this week, in fact, the FAA granted a waiver for flight over people to an operator using Parazero's ASCM compliant Safe Air Phantom. And that's our show for today. For more information on the exciting hobby drone world, head over to modelaircraft.org. Have a wonderful day.